Hello, my friends and fellow 3D artists. Today we are here for a special reason. For someone this news will be like a blessing, for others maybe not so much. But for us, 3D artists, it is definitely something to think about. Just a few days ago, Tencent, a company who owns WeChat, they released version 3 of their AI for making 3D models. It's called Hunyan 3D. Almost nobody knows about this yet. It is still in beta test, but it's open for everyone and it's completely free. I already played with it a little bit and I tell you now, results are just amazing. I was very surprised, in a good way. So today we take a look together what Hunyan 3D can do. Like with other neural networks, we will only test the image to 3D mode, because I think this is the most important mode in any 3D AI. For the test I will use my standard set of images, which I also generated with a neural network. Here we have a medieval X with some unique decorations, a Lamborghini sports car, an anime girl in a swimsuit, a realistic handgun Glock 20 9mm, and a combat orc in Warcraft style. I would say pictures for all occasions you can imagine, and with them we will check how universal this AI really is. Alright, let's go. All links will be in the description both to the generator itself and for more tests of other AIs on my channel. The first problem you'll probably run into is that the whole site is in Chinese, but luckily you can easily fix this by auto-translating the page in your browser. I recommend using Google Chrome. There are three ways to log in, and I recommend the last one. Get invite code by email and use it to log in. If you're using Gmail, I think you won't have any problems, and soon you'll be inside the Tencent 3D Studio UI. It's very simple. In the top left you upload your reference image. You can upload several from different angles, but usually one is enough. The AI almost always does a good job guessing the missing details. The main thing, make sure the model version 3.0 is selected. And I don't think you need one and a half million poly count. 50,000 should be enough. It generates both geometry and PBR textures with a normal map. So I upload the first reference image of an X and I click the generate button below. They give 20 free generations per day. I think that's more than enough to test it properly and even to make some models for your own project. Generating one model takes around 3 minutes for mesh with texture, sometimes it's even faster. And halfway through, when the mesh is ready, you can see the flat shaded preview in this window. When the process is finished, we go into the 3D model viewer. And here is what we got. And I think this is just an amazing X. The quality is much higher than all other AIs I tested before. The texture came out with incredibly high quality for AI generator, and it matches the reference perfectly. Every little detail made it to the 3D model. And PBR is also done very well. The metal shines exactly where it should. But what surprised me the most is when I turned on the mesh preview. It made the shape perfectly. The X looks really sharp, and every small detail is modeled, even the patterns on the blade. Now look at this and think. How long will it take you to model this X by hand? This AI did it in 3 minutes, both smash and texture, from the first try and perfect match with the reference. Down here you can switch the preview modes to check the albedo texture and the normal map. I'll save the model, and a bit later we'll take a look at it in the blender to see what we really got. I give this X 10 Swiberg heads out of 10. Turned out just excellent. Next model we test is a Nime girl. I upload her reference image and click generate. Exactly with this reference most of AIs I tested before had lots of problems. I don't remember any that generated anime style models well. There always were some serious issues. And here is what we've got. At least we can say it's again a perfect match with the reference. Other neural networks often mess things up and ruin her body shape or the face. I think her hair is very well modeled with polygons. In games, anime characters usually have hair made with alpha planes, but this method also works just nice. And her ass is just beautiful. But there are some small annoying issues. Something is wrong with the fingers. You can see the textures are leaking. But just take a look at this level of detail. The bikini is modeled with mesh, even the lace on the bra. The eyes, however, look kind of horrible. Here I can say that other AIs did better. For example, 3D AI Studio understood that eyes don't need to be modeled, just put it on with the texture, like in low poly anime models. So eyes, not good, but the face shape is correct overall. The body is modeled very well, but the legs are fused together and these fingers look terrible. If we turn on the mesh preview, I have almost no complaints. One small artifact on the finger, 
but overall very nicely done. The eyes look much better without textures, and uh, this is the first AI that properly made bow tie in her hair. And here you can change the lightning, for example sun angle and power of the light from weak to powerful. But I think the fall settings already look real good. I give her 8 Swiberg heads out of 10, and this is a new level score. Compared to other AIs, this easily could be a solid 10. But frankly, Hunyan raised the quality so high that now I can only compare it to itself. Next up for the test, we have a sports car. This reference also caused a lot of trouble for other AIs, mostly with the rims and small details like mirrors and spoiler. Indeed, there are a lot of unclear details in the picture, and not all networks can figure them out. And this is exactly what we test, how well AI can imagine things that don't exist or are hard to see on the reference. Some really good networks pretty much failed this task, and here is what we got. Looks very cool. The bottom of the car is empty, but I think it was the same in all the networks I tested before. It seems Hunyan again hit the reference exactly, and the Dreams looks almost perfect. Way better than other AIs did them. There are some places with texture bleeding problems, but only a few. Look, it even modeled the door handle with polygons. Side mirrors look just amazing. The back is very detailed. In other AIs, rear end was a total catastrophe of polygons. However, it has no tail lights. But even without them, the detailing is very logical and nice. And the spoiler came out well. From the top, it looks very good. No problems with symmetry, almost perfect match with the reference. Here I could complain that there are some problems with detail on the front lights and logo, but still it did much better than other AI generators. Now, if I turn on the shaded view, we can see even the smallest body parts are modeled with polygons. It's absolutely gorgeous. I would say it looks much better without textures. Even if we can't put it directly in a game like the X, at least we can use it as a reference for a clean modeling. I give it 9 Swiber heads out of 10. The texture isn't great and there are problems with small details, but overall the shape is generated very well and there are no big issues with its mesh. The next model we're testing, the Glock 17 9mm. I upload the reference image and click generate. And you can already tell from the preview the result will be just amazing. Glock also had some problems in other AIs and I think only one AI did it well without messing up the original shape of the pistol and it was 3D AI Studio, but even that one had some serious texture issues. And here is what we've got. I will say, this is an incredible output. The texture resolution is even higher than on the reference image. I suspect they are using some kind of AI upscaler for that. Just look at the grip texture. Level of detailization is very high. Maybe it's not exactly like a real Glock has, but it looks very solid. Comparing to other AIs, this level of detail is totally on another level. This is just top quality. All the buttons and switches are modeled with polygons, it's really nice. Here in the front, however, there is a pretty serious mistake. This part doesn't exist on a real Glock. Anyone who ever saw a real Glock or even shoot one knows how the front should look like. All AI generators I tested before at least made the front part technically correct. But I decided to check the image I gave it, and yeah, this strange detail is actually there. So Hunyan is really trying to follow the reference image as much as possible. So even here we have a perfect match with the ref. However, on the back of the slide we have no cover plate, unfortunately. Other AIs know about this little detail and try to recreate it, even though it's not visible on the ref. Seems like Hunyan never been trained on real Glock models and doesn't know how the back of this slide should look like. Nevertheless, the pistol turned out just amazing. Once again, Hunyan beats other AI generators in both modern quality and accuracy to the reference. I have almost no serious complaints. Technically, nothing is really off. Textures came out very nice. But the most interesting part is when you turn on the mesh preview. Just look at these clean curves. Every small part is modeled. Even the logo is shaped with polygons. Very sharp and clean edges. Top level quality right there. I think if we used a real photo instead of an AI generated image, which already has a lot of weird noise and glitches, the result would turn out even better. And I give it 10 Swiberg heads out of 10. Excellent model. Last model for today is Warcraft Orc. Other AI generators handled it without any major issues, but I want to see what actually Hunyan 3D has to offer with it. If it surprised me with Pistol and X, I think Orc might turn out wonderful as well. So I upload my reference image and click generate.
By the way, Hunyan has the same problem as other AI services. They don't know how to advertise themselves. Just look at this very basic junk they have in their own showcase. Every model we made today is way more interesting and has better quality than what they show in their gallery. I just don't understand why they can't generate some really nice models and put them here on display. However, maybe these are from previous AI version and they really were not so good. Preview looks very promising. I can see it even shaped his muscles with polygons. And here is our orc. This is what I don't like from the start. He has no eyes visible. Like they don't even exist. But still overall it looks okayish. Maybe texture quality could be higher and detail is clearly lacking in some places. Like that tiny skull on the chest and this hanging tool on the belt. Don't know what it is. And here is our first serious artifact. Some kind of bloody mess inside of his ears. Don't really know what happened here. At the ref picture I see something which resembles a bunch of small rings or piercing. Probably I tried to make them but failed because of detail limitations. There is small texture bleeding on teeth and on nose too. But all of this can be easily fixed with overpaint. I feel next version of this AI model will fix these issues. Or they might introduce a high quality mode which pays more attention to tiny details so it will be almost perfect even at close range. I kinda wanted his skin to be more rough but it came out all smooth and shiny. But overall progress is very good. It's clearly getting much better. Now I look at what other AIs did not so long ago. It really made an impression of something outstanding. But after Hunyan 3.0 I feel kinda disgusted looking at that. I skipped on so many obvious mistakes back then. For example, this is how Orc looked like in Tripo 3D just 6 months ago. By the way, Tripo has some interesting tools for automatic rigging and animation like Mixamo. Hunyan also can generate a very simple rig, but I'm really not sure what for. They could also add some animations at least for testing. And again, if it turn on mesh preview, it looks much better without texture. You immediately can see all these amazing details. Just look how well it's sculpted. I think if we hire a real artist to redraw his texture, we can ship it straight to the game tomorrow. I give this orc 8 Sweeberg heads out of 10. Some small texture issues here and there, but model is very solid. Alright, we tested all 5 refs in this new AI generator. Now let's import all these models in the blender and see how they look there. Hunyan by default exports models in a standard GLB format. It means all textures and shaders should come along without any problems. So no setup is needed. Maybe except for lightning. And here is how our generated pistol looks in Blender. Just let me change scene settings so we have some ambient lightning and global illumination with ambient occlusion. Now Glock looks almost exactly like my reference image. This is a very high quality. Next, let's import the axe. And it immediately looks incredible. Both texture and shader. A perfect match to the reference. And the best part, unlike other neural networks, here all details, even the smallest ones, are explicitly modeled in the mesh. Normal map just adds some surface bumps. Like I'm spinning the camera and just amazed how good this turned out. Seems like Tencent accidentally made mass production of high quality 3D models very affordable. You can put that X straight into Skyrim and Glock into Counter-Strike. These are fully production ready models. Just need to retopo and reduce poly count from 50,000 to 5. Now let's import the anime girl. She looks kinda lifeless to be honest. I think that's more of a material issue than texture. Not sure if GLB format supports subsurface scattering or translucency in shaders. Probably not. Orc also looks all smooth and shiny. Definitely need to tweak material settings manually. PBR shading doesn't fit him at all. For now I can say these AI models work best for generation of realistic objects. Let's import the sports car and place it here behind the characters. Now with this lighting it doesn't look that great either. I want to add a plane so we can see some shadows. And probably let's switch lighting mode as well so we have a real cube map for reflections. I wanna see how well this AI understands where exactly materials should reflect environment. Now I can't really tell. Now look, only car reflects environment the most and where it has windows. That's great. It means Hunyan understands material semantics from reference images and can tell apart skin from rusty metal and glass. Next, let's check models with a generic matcap. And let me also turn on rich and worry highlighting so it looks like in ZBrush. This way we'll be able to see all the details. 
And look what we've got. I think it's freaking awesome. Just check the tags, how all the patterns are highlighted. And the pistol. Now all buttons are clearly visible. Orcs back muscles are very detailed. All just pop with this filter. Sports car looks great too. But we better fix this mess up normals on the hood. They totally revamped Blender 4.5 interface. Auto smoothing of normals was in mesh settings before. Now you have to go to the modifier stack and in normals menu find smooth by angle. And here you need to play with this value to fix some smoothing artifacts you have. Though it probably won't resolve all of them for you. So manual fixing still required. But like I said, this generated car already fits great as a base mesh for clean modeling, instead of using blueprints. So here are all the models we've made today. I was surprised how far Tencent stepped forward with this update. They just outran all competitors. I haven't checked lately what's going on with mesh and triple 3D. They were my favorites before, but something tells me they haven't reached Tencent's level just yet. For many 3D artists, the ability to generate models of this level of quality for completely free will be quite a shocker. Whether that's good or bad is up to you, I guess. Many still hesitate to use AI in their work, even just to get things done much faster. Some even despise it. And there are many people with this mindset, even among programmers. And that's it for today. Like and subscribe to see more videos like this. 